you can now go look for jobs and you can find something that better fits your lifestyle and companies are fighting for employees. They're fighting for people. They're fighting with better pay. They're fighting with a better lifestyle. They're fighting with better benefits. So this is good news for employees. And that's exactly what we did here at the Minority Mindset. As soon as this pandemic hit, we started to follow the Dropbox model. Dropbox was one of the first tech companies to create something called the Virtual First Model, which means that, hey, you don't have a designated desk anymore. You can come into the office when you want, or you can work from home, you can work from the beach. All you have to do is make sure that you're getting the work done. Don't miss the meetings, don't miss the deadlines. So on the employment level, we are seeing a major shift through this great resignation where you have a lot of people voluntarily leaving their jobs, and this is creating a big gap in the employment marketplace. Then on the inflationary side, you have the cost of living going up very fast. You have the Federal Reserve Bank and the government still printing money. They're still trying to create more inflation because that's the only way that the United States government is gonna be able to afford their $29 trillion worth of national debt because when you see more inflation, that means that the value of the dollar goes down so the United States government can then pay back the $29 trillion of national debt with cheaper dollars. So the government and the Fed want to create more inflation, which is hurting the average person because now the price of things keep going up. So you have this higher cost of living, and now if you go to work a job, one job isn't enough. Two jobs aren't enough. What people need now is they need their jobs, and then they need some sort of additional supplemental income in order to be able to survive in this economy. Luckily, we live in this technology age where it is more accessible than ever to get some sort of side hustle or side gig where you can work some additional hours whenever you want and earn some extra cash. You can drive for Uber, or you can drive for Lyft, or you can deliver food through Grubhub or Uber Eats or you can deliver groceries through Amazon Fresh or Instacart. Or if you want to be a little bit more involved, you can create your own side hustle. It's kind of like creating your own small business, but now you can be a freelancer and you can help other businesses earn more money. You can help other businesses with their business and you can do this from your own home on your own schedule by being a freelancer. So if you go to a site like Fiverr or Upwork, what you can do is you can post your skills. Let's say you're good at writing, or you're good at graphic design, or you're good at video editing, or you have a cool voice and you can be a voiceover artist, or you're really good with accounting and you can help businesses manage their money better, manage their cash flow better. You can post these skills on these websites. Then, as a business needs more work, instead of hiring an employee, they can hire a freelancer like you. They can go onto these websites and say that we are looking for somebody to help us with our writing. And now if you post your skills and a business posts their advertisement to find some sort of writer, well now you two can meet. You can apply for the business a job or the business can find you and now you can provide your writing services for the business and the business will pay you for your writing service. The business is not going to tell you where to work. They're not going to tell you what hours you need to work. I mean, they might, depending on what the job is. But in general, they're not going to tell you that you have to be on the computer from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. In some occasions, you will see that. But in most occasions, you will not. What the business will do is they're going to tell you what they want, how long of an article they want, and what they want the article to be about. And they'll tell you what they're willing to pay you. And if this is acceptable to you, you can accept it. And now, you just have a new side gig that you can work on on weekends or in evenings or whenever you want. And now you can do this work and earn some extra cash because of it. And depending on how entrepreneurial minded you are, this can lead to a whole lot more opportunities because now not only can you start doing this writing work for other businesses, but you could potentially create your own agency where now you have other writers that work under you. And so when people come to you for writing work, you can designate this not just to yourself, but to other writers. And so now you start to build your own business. But again, this takes a lot more work and now you need to really have the entrepreneurial mind to build this sort of agency. Or if you are even more entrepreneurial minded, then you can look at starting your own business or you can look at creating content in today's economy. If you enjoyed this short clip from my longer videos, here's another clip that I think you'll love and while you're at it, if you're interested in learning more about how to start generating passive income, our team put together an amazing guide on how to start generating passive income for free. All you gotta do is click that button right over there. Thank you for watching and as always, keep hustling. <laughs>